pick up their music scene. But first, a band that hasn't had an album out in five years. They've sold over a million copies. And in the five years since we've gotten a record from them, a lot of speculation in the media has been around the breakup with her boyfriend. We're talking with Justine Frischman from Elastica and Damon from Blur. She came to Toronto. Larissa sat down with Justine and she laid it on the table. Hey. Basically, just talk to me. Don't worry about either camera. You know, I have much better profile. <laughs> okay. You have a lovely nose. Thank you. <laughs> can, I go, can I go side on to you? Sure. Okay. Don't need no credit card. Make my charge and I want you on your back. I just got on my feet. What's the worst part of having to reveal yourself to journalists? Um, well, on the whole, I actually treat people as human beings when I meet them, and that's probably the mistake I make. You know, I'm quite honest with people. Um, and I think on the first record, it was kind of hard for me to develop an alter ego. I just found it really confusing and weird. Um, and at this point, I just don't read it. I just don't look at it. And there's enough people that know me for me, and that's OK, you know. And occasionally, I have to phone up my mum and go, look, just don't read this or don't read that. And that's OK. She doesn't. What was the impetus for you for picking up and coming back again? Coming back? Yeah. Um, well, there's something in me that I don't know how to communicate if it's not through music. Mm. And also, it's all me and my friends have really got, you know? Um, I've been brought up around music. My mum's family were musicians, and I just love it. And I was pretty disillusioned with the music industry and the media. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to let those f***ers get me down. I'm not going to let them spoil me enjoying music. Why should I? Um, and uh, no one's going to make me put my guitar down. Are you the kind of person that learns from your lessons and then changes your behavior? Well, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've always been kind of attracted to people who are into music. But, you know, boys and bands are kind of trouble, they are. But, um, you know, I think it's kind of sexist to see a, a man and a woman who are both into music and go, OK, well, she has to be where she got because of who she's sleeping with. And, He's obviously writing all the songs and blah, blah, blah. And that, I just think that's total bullshit. I really hate that shit. I write all the good songs in that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> all that ex-relationship. What's the best remedy to heal from heartbreak? <laughs> the pain away. <laughs> Or play the pain away, rock the pain away. Right. Let's say rock the pain away. Okay. Stop! Good luck to her, but you know, it's like, you know, I've got, I've, I live in a totally different world now, you know. I, you know, I was, I was deeply in love with Justine, but you know, that's, that's, people have relationships and they end. It's no, no big deal, you know. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned over time now um, from your past relationships with, with Damon and with, with breaking up with band members and stuff? Okay. I'd say my, the two big lessons... There's, okay, there's three big lessons that I've learned. First one is that it's more important to be a human being than a musician. The second one is that I'm a music lover first and a music maker second. And the third one is that it is hardcore out there. It is do or die. There's a lot of bad shit going on. There's a lot of really unfair shit. The dark side is with us all the time, and it's just how you use that dark side. 
that's important. And at this point, I'm just going, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and embrace the chaos and I'm going to try and be a positive force in the world because I'm lucky enough to be in a place where I'm, I've got the opportunity to do that. And um, that's where I am with it.